So by the time this episode airs in early January, we'll be through the end of the end of year holiday season. And and certainly the two big words that hung over everything were supply chain. We were told to buy gifts early because of the supply chain, stock up on supplies because of the supply chain, prepare for inevitable disruptions of all types due to the supply chain. Can you speak about supply chain issues from a security perspective and, and what improved uh, security can do to either ease the bottleneck around it or how we can move into whatever the next phase of delivery of goods and services is? Sure. So I'm going to take this question from two different viewpoints. Okay. So when you talk about supply chain, the first thing people talk about typically is chips and product manufacturing. I mean, that's what yep. most people mean. This is the new frontier in security. Yep. Uh, we have matured greatly on the IT side of the equation. I mean, the average enterprise is a lot more secure today than they were a year ago. Or, and, and the high-end companies with the big revenues who are spending a lot of money are much more protected than they've ever been. Hmm. However, the operational technology environment, you know, plant production lines, elevators, uh, manufacturing equipment, vehicles, IoT, IIoT, all these topics, I mean, this is the new horizon in security because these environments have typically been avoided from a security perspective. They've typically hmm. been disconnected from the internet. That is no longer the case. Uh, yeah. And third, they're hard to make improvements in uh, because they mm -hmm. tend to have big uptime requirements, which right. slows security professionals down. I think this is the new frontier from security and there is a lot of opportunity out there for uh, both nefarious actors, but also for improvement. You can also look at this problem from a, a, um, an access uh, or a, um, a, a data management perspective, meaning okay. that We've seen a lot more attackers move up the chain and instead of attacking an end in, in customer, instead attack their software providers or their data mm. providers or their ISPs uh, or their MSPs. Uh, because why attack one customer when I can go attack an MSP or a software provider and yep. attack just them and get access to a thousand of their clients? Wow. I also yeah. think this is another, emer not just emerging, but uh, area requiring a lot of focus and is impacting these supply chain topics. Uh, and, and companies need to be aware of their reliance on third parties and the potential risks they're inheriting. Hmm. Now, uh, you said that there's a lot of opportunities opening, not just for bad actors, but for, for us to improve things. Is this uh, an area, I mean, obviously all security is area of growth. Is this an area of growth for people? You know, we're always looking for uh, opportunities for people just getting started in their security journey to look for new career directions. Is this uh, strengthening the supply chain? Is that something that uh, people can start looking towards as, as a future career? I think so. I would probably categorize it more as physical device security. Okay. Uh, so, and, you know, I think there is a super need for young talent on the traditional IT side of the equation. Mm -hmm. uh, there is about to be a equally large need on the kind of manufacturing side of the equation as well, because uh, yep. it's not just your laptop anymore. It's all your IoT devices. It's your thermostats and it's also oh, yeah. nuclear plants. So there's opportunity. Yeah. I'm excited to announce that our InfoSec skills platform will be releasing a new challenge every month with three hands-on labs to put your cyber skills to the test. Each month, you'll build new skills ranging from secure coding to penetration testing to advanced persistent threats and everything in between. Plus, we're giving away more than $1,000 worth of prizes each month. Go to infosecinstitute.com challenge and start your challenge right now.